I'm Debbie and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for March 20th, 21st, 22nd, and 23rd. Now, you know that I am an intuitive channeler. I open myself to higher power, um, Holy Spirit, God, Source, and just ask whatever it is that needs to come through, comes through. Now, when I'm reading for Monday through Thursday, I use my Radley Valentine decks. I use my Archangel Power Tarot cards and my Guardian Angel Tarot cards. I will also use my Inspirational Wisdom from Angels and Fairies. My box is getting a little roughed up there. Written by Francis Monroe and artwork by Judy Mastrangelo. And then, of course, my Emily Anderson Crystal Deck. Now, for this, because this is just the, well, not just, this is the overview. It is not the main reading. So if you're looking for your sign, they will be following. So, take, you know, just be patient as I record them and post them. Anyway, um, for this, I will be using my Weight Rider Traditional Tarot and my Colette Baron Read the Good Tarot. Now, I have prayed, meditated, and infused all the decks with Reiki energy. But remember, these are general readings. They may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest. Okay? Okay, so, you know, I've been leading up to this time. This is a big time. This is a Happy New Year time. We are starting the new astrological year. We are starting that with Aries. Aries has an I energy to it. Not an I, but an I energy. So it is about reclaiming and claiming your own personal worth. And it is about standing up a little bit more for yourself, which is really good because, you know, okay, so we go into Aries, uh, and this is going to be Eastern time, at 525 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and that's March 20th, okay? We have our new moon in Aries at 1.22 p.m. on the 21st of March, okay? And that's going to be at zero degrees, so it's a really big starting over. Also, too, with the sun entering Aries, this also brings the equinox, which if you're in the southern hemisphere will be your autumn equinox. If you're in the northern, it will be the spring. And that is when day and light equal out, at least for that moment. And then one gets bigger and the other gets smaller. Okay, and there's also a lot of traditional um, traditions around this time. There's a lot of... Um, I don't know, you want to call them religious or spiritual beliefs around this time also. Okay, so now when I was talking about the I, when I'm talking about, you know, doing things more for yourself and really kind of stepping up more for yourself, that is going to be even more enhanced with Pluto entering into Aquarius for those three months on the 23rd. And that will be at 8.14 a.m. And again, too... Um, remember, Mars will be going into Cancer. Now, Cancer is all about the moon, all about the home, all about the spirituality, and that will be on the 25th at 7:46. So there's a lot of, there's going to be a lot of push forward. There's going to be a lot of, hey, you know, um, again, I have been talking about, you know, the the Liberty time that this, you know, last time Pluto was in Aquarius was 1777 to what, 1790 uh, something. And the last time, well, Saturn in Pisces has been there more. You know, we've had Saturn in Pisces, but the last time Saturn was in Pisces, in Pisces was in Pluto with Aquarius was right around, and I, okay, I know I'm getting this wrong, but it was right around 1782, 80 to 84 ish type of thing so again um it is all about you know think back to the you know go back into your history what was going on between you know at a right around that time kind of you know like viva la liberty so what are we doing what are we seeing you know so there's a lot of again we have that eye energy we have that you know that hey you know this is pushing us forward we have this energy and it, it was more so i was feeling it more so for our aquariuses but it's coming up more and more for everybody that there's going to be a bigger push um, for, I don't know, for um, new society, new, 
new way of doing things, um, you know, cleaning out a lot of the old and bringing in a lot of the new, but it's also going to be better, okay? It will be, and I'm not saying that it's going to be easy because it's, and nothing is ever easy in life, but I, I do think that as long as we keep our vibrations high, as long as we constant, you know, we don't necessarily put our focus on what's going on in the world per se, we have to be aware, of course, but we have to be more aware and our focus has to be more around our own our own lives, okay? So it's always about, you know, we have to live our own lives. That's what we have to do, but we also have to keep our vibrations high and we have to remember, you know, two things. Well, one is, um, one thing for, in particular, fear is a tool of the devil and we are not of that energy, okay? We are of God's source, light. We are of Holy Spirit, and we have to claim that, and we have to be that. Okay, enough about with that, too. But I will let you know that as I was getting ready, my sound, my sound. Oh, it's always about my sound. I'm so sorry if you can't hear in two speakers. Um, you know, every time I get it fixed, and we never know how we fixed it. We just start pushing and doing. Um, and then, again, Windows does an update. And you're like, it moved everything. What are we even doing and what are we even talking about? So anyway, let's go on and let's do our reading. Excuse me, I have to... Okay, sorry about that. Anyway, yes, you know, but I always say this, you know, when I when this happened, so I'm getting, I'm getting a late start. It's like, no, no, no. But if I continue to try to find whatever they do, um, I think they take... I think that I lose a driver. Um you know, on my audio or something like that. But whenever I try, oh, something's going to happen very, very quickly. Something's going to happen. We're going to hear some news, and things are going to be moving very, very quickly. Okay, um, God's source. Uh, but whenever I have a morning like this, it, I always think back, you know, I must be, you know, the little poem. I must be doing something right. I got the devil so uptight. Okay, higher power, Holy Spirit, what do you want to tell the people what's going on in the world what do we need to know here we go you know again we've had the um we've had the readings about you know stay faithful we've had the readings about watch the movie i mean watch watch the movie watch the money um and now we're getting something and again reversed energies reverse cards have a stronger energy that's how i read them and my cards agree with me so we have the knight of swords here so night is, um, night is a fire energy, and we are entering into Aries. Remember, Jupiter is still in Aries, so that's a positive for us. And what is it doing is Mercury's in Aries, too, so that's a positive, too. But, then, and, but it's Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It's passionate, burning, very determined, um, very focused. Now, the sword energy is Aquarius, which we just talked about, Gemini, well, remember, Mars is in Gemini right now, but it's transitioning again to Cancer on the 25th. And it's also Libra. It's thought processes, thinking things through, making some plans. Really, really kind of focusing on that future energy, future part. So there's a lot of focus on that. So this could be about something that really um, ignites ignites the um, thoughts and the passions of a lot of people. When I see the Knight of Swords, you know, swords you're thinking should be a little bit more objective, should be a little bit more thoughtful, but actually when I see the Knight of Swords, it's hearing something and just kind of, you know, just just running off, running off kind of not necessarily, not necessarily even understanding what we're doing. So I feel like the Knight of Swords is all about, you know, information that is heard, information that we, you know, that we come upon and not necessarily processing. In fact, this has a very, um, this has a very, um, I don't know, you know, very, well, this is a very quick energy and it's kind of an uncontrolled energy. So it's kind of like, you know, who's riding who? You know, you can look at the, the, the person, the knight is on the horse and he's got his sword up and he is rushing in. But you cannot, if you look at the horse, the horse looks a little bit afraid. The, um, the knight is, is angry. The knight is very determined. But the horse is kind of like, oh, please, let's not go there. Let's not go there. So there could be some information, some news coming about that just really ignites a lot of people. 
makes them be a little bit more risky in what they would normally do. Um, you know, so it, 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 it's always interesting. Let's see what we've got here now. Next card is, we've got that Hierophant. And I know that Hierophants, I mean, I've been, I know that in the major arcana, there's a lot of astrology in it. But I find that my, when I connect with these cards, I find that more it's in the minor arcana that I really connect with the energies. Um, as in far, as far as the fire, water, earth, and um, air energy. So I know that the Hierophant does have a connection with Taurus energy, but, but, that's traditionally how I read it, how I read the Hierophant. Um, I read the Hierophant. I'm not a fan of the Hierophant. I'm not a fan of the changes that this tries to bring. So, you know, so I do not connect this with my Tauruses because I have my Tauruses, you know, you've been, you know, you're lovely, you're lovely energies. So do not think when I'm talking about this, I am not, I am not uh, putting down Tauruses at all. Okay, so anyway, we have a five, I, and I was just answering, somebody had said that to me. I mean, you know, so we have a five, five is about change, positive, negative change. This has the Hierophant to me, again, you know, you read them how you want to read them. But to me, always has a very legalistic energy to it, okay? It always has, you know, and I know that we are we are leaving Pisces and going into Aries right now. We have been in the age of Pisces, and that's been for a good 2,000 years. It has been very legalistic in not just in government, but also in religion. So I, when I see the Hierophant, I look at major control I look at, you know, at just really very stifling energies, okay? But when I see the Hierophant, I'm also looking at that we have the opportunities and options to break free and break away from that. And I've been telling, I've been telling everybody that whenever I see this Hierophant, he gives me the willy jibby, jilly, jibbies, weeby jeebies, whatever I want to say. And he just, you know, I am just not a fan of this energy. So when I see this, it's always kind of like be aware. And maybe, maybe if you choose, if you choose, go a different direction. Okay? So let's see what do we have next here. Next card is we have the lovers. So now we have, these are two major arcanas. So now we have a six. Six is the number of man. It's the energies you put into something. Now remember I said um, Venus is in Taurus, so that's a very good energy. That's a very loving energy. A lot of the, um, you know, in my other cards, the angel is associated with Raphael, the great, you know, the healing energy, the healing angel that can heal whatever, finances, love, um, emotion, spirit, everything like that. There is always, the lovers isn't always about that type of, like the love relationship. Um, the lovers is, it does have a relationship energy, does have an emotional energy. And again, this is how I'm, that what I pick up from this. But to me, the lovers has a choice energy. Which way do we go? Where do we move with this? What are we planning on doing? You know, do we, do we do the rush? Do we, do we break free of the Hierophant energy? Do we, you know, do we look to the heavens? Do we look to each other? What are we doing with this energy? What are we doing with this? Now, the lovers, um, you know, if you look, there is the sun. So there is always hope with the lovers. There is also recovery. And there is also, um, there is always, you know, there's always recovery. And there's always um, a sense that things can resolve themselves, okay? But again, let's look at what we have here. We have, we just have so much different things. We've got these little, this one tree that doesn't have its, um, doesn't necessarily have the leaves on it anymore. And it's kind of has some burning energies. We have the tree that has fruit on it, but it's dangerous to get the fruit because there is also a snake on it. And the snake looks ready to bite the woman. The man is looking at the woman. We don't even know how he's looking at her. And then we have the lo the angel that is to many, many appearances giving a blessing, giving, you know, saying things will be okay. But when I see the lovers, I feel like there's always choices and choices in relationships, choices in, um, again, recovery, choices in 
um, just, let's just say choices, okay? So let's see what else we might have going on here. What else do we have going on? We're going to use Colette Baron Reed, the good tarot. So what do we have? Higher power, Holy Spirit, what else would you like to say? What would you like to say with our, for our people, for our, for the people watching? What's going on in the world? Let's see. Yeah, this one, this one, he's going to be a little bit, he's going to be a little more impulsive. He's going to act before he thinks. So we need to, you know, we do need to rein that, well, we don't know. There's, there's just going to be more reaction out there than really thought and processing with that. Yeah, you know, lovers, kind of, not quite getting what I want to say with the lovers. It's not necessarily coming to my to my thoughts right now. I keep going. I keep getting stuck on the word recovery. <laughs> so, but you know what? I have to. I have to realize this, and this is really hard. It's very, very hard for me. I have to realize I don't have to understand what I'm saying. Okay, I just have to say it. So I keep getting recovery with this, and you know. Just, oh, and there we go. The card has flown out. I do not know what it is, so let's see. When cards fly out, they want to be seen. So let's see what we've got. Okay. So we have an ace of fire. So we have that fire energy. We are coming to the first month or the first season in the astrological year. We have, you know, a one, so we do have a five, six, one, one, six, five energy. So we have a one, new beginning, new start. We have a fire energy again, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We've talked about Aries. New, you know, we are in Aries. This is a new passion. This is, this, it, you know, it kind of, it's kind of um, feeding this a little bit. It's kind of feeding this, and it's kind of, this passion is um, not necessarily a big fan of this, okay? And I kind of feel like the passion, you know, and, and, and an ace is really good energy. Like I said, it's a new beginning, a new start, which is, you know, we're in the new start of, you know, the astrological year, a lot of changes. Um, and this is about, this is about passion, finding your passion, finding your commitment, finding your purpose. There's a lot of purpose, finding purpose energy with this. Okay, so, and we will see what we will see. Let's see if this, if this makes sense or if it doesn't make sense, you let me know. I will start the videos and post them as I get them done. So, um, if you are watching me on YouTube, uh, please like, share, subscribe, click on the bell for notifications. I have to tell you that um, the likes really went up. So, I, you know, if you want to support my channel, that really, really helps. And so as the likes go up, it is the, the videos are seen a little bit. They're seen a lot more by others. So thank you very much. I have no idea. My camera's readjusting itself here. So I'm moving back and forth. Um, anyway, to... If you're watching me on Rumble, then please Rumble me. Okay. As always, though, oh, do the, you know, like I said, do the like, share, subscribe. Okay, I've done that already. As always, though, please remember, please really, really know that you are loved. Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.